All right, here I got a power supply board out of a 65 inch Samsung. Uh, it's a dead set, right? It's a model uh, 65 UN 65 JU 6500, and this board number is a BN 44 00808A as an alpha. So I'll plug it in right fast. I'm gonna be on DC volts. Run my meter here, and this right here is a standby. Um, matter of fact, let me just turn it over. This is our plug going to the main board right here. Right here. Okay. And being careful to plug it up. Now we can start anywhere. Like I said, the TV is dead. It has no light on the front of the TV. So this is our 13 volts standby. All right, so it's 13 volts run, eight volt standby, something like that. But if we go to the capacitors right here, I have absolutely nothing. So I should have standby, and this is our dial, our standby dial right here. And I'm going to grind my meter, and there is absolutely no voltage on the cathode side of the dial. Absolutely nothing go to the capacitors now that was on the secondary side of the standby now on the primary side by the cord I'm going to check these for the capacitors and see if I have any voltage on them I'm going to go across these capacitors right here nothing nothing all right, I am plugged in. So what I do is unplug the TV. Put my meter in continuity. I'm gonna check this fuse. We should have a beep like this. All right, which means it's good. If not, it means it's open. Okay, the fuse is open. Shy Town's finest. There we have some burn. The board is burned, actually. Look right here. We have a burn mark by this transformer and this capacitor is burned. Okay, so what I'm gonna check now is see if we have any shorts on any MOSFETs or any semiconductors that are big, right? So, I'm just assuming, now if we look at this TV, I'm just gonna break it down with my eyes. Okay, here's our main switching transformer. And then we obviously have some transformers or inductors on the primary side. So those are part of power factor correction circuits. Circuit. And obviously the switching fets for this transformer are burned down here because for our PFC circuit, we have a diode which is in the middle and two MOSFETs. And the PFC controller I see is here at the bottom, all right? So these are our, our PFC inductors. We have using two, two MOSFETs and there's a PFC diode in the middle. And the one, and I also have a burned resistor right here. Okay, right there, that is burnt the flux up, okay? So, let me check these MOSFETs and diodes I didn't see any char underneath the board. I didn't see anything burnt underneath this board. So I'm gonna use my continuity checker and I'm gonna check this, this switch uh, MOSFET for our PFC circuit. Okay, that way is good. That has a short and that would be from source to drain. 
okay? Let me check this dial right here. This is a shocky dial. Both of these pins should be shorted. All right, so those, those pins should be shorted. All right, those are both the anode pins. And the cathode pin is right here in the middle. The anode pin should not be shorted to the cathode pin in the middle. Okay, so that's okay. And let's check this other PFC MOSFET right here. That is shorted all the way around. Okay, and that's why the fuse blow and obviously the resistor blew right here. Right here. It's also burned. That has a big burn hole in it. Right there. All right, so we got two FETs, two MOSFETs here and here the ceramic capacitor and this resistor where are we at right here in between the two PFC inductors and what else and the fuse right I think that's it so let's replace them all and see if we can get any voltage on the secondary side Okay, so those MOSFETs were 60R360P. So I got two of those. I've got a 4.7 ohm resistor right here. Yellow, yellow, purple, gold, gold my fuse and my capacitor 221 this one is at 3k that's just a voltage rate so that's good
If you want, you can add a little flux on one side. And then cut a lead off from a resistor or capacitor. Voila. All right, that's good. All right, so we got our both of our MOSFETs in, our resistor, our capacitor right there. Okay, what else? And our fuse down here. Okay, and I'm just gonna double check before I even fire it up and make sure I don't have a short on the tray. Make sure these are good. Four point seven ohms. As you see on my meter. Low ohms, 4.7, excellent. And the fuse is good, okay? Now, the only thing I'm worried about is that, with well, that being short of that bad, is the PFC controller down here. Hopefully that's not damaged, okay? Because if it is, I'm gonna have a hard time put, getting this conformal coat stuff off of here. This controller I see, right here. Drives the gate pin of these two MOSFETs. Okay, which is connected to this these two inductors. And amplifies the voltage. And it's coming out of this diode right here. Which should be going right to this diode right here. All right, where the resistor was blown. It's the blown resistor 
right here. Then a market, yeah, right here in black. Okay, so that's a 4.7 ohms. All right, and then that should be going right to the positive side of the filter capacitors. And that should be amplified voltage. Now, because this TV, this is one of those boards that when you unplug the main board, the, the main board, the backlights should come on, right? Uh, if it was in the TV. So once I plug it in, I should have everything. I should have the amplified uh, voltage from the PFC circuit which should, across the capacitors, which should be 380 volts instead of the 160. And I also have, should have voltage, I should have standby, and I should have voltage on my backlight circuit. I'm gonna look at this fuse, make sure it doesn't blow, or I don't see any smoke or anything. So let's do that. I'm gonna plug in my AC. Okay, I should have checked, make sure there was no leads or anything up under the board, but looks like it's okay. All right, no smoke. Fuse looks like it didn't blow up or anything. And while I got it here, I'm gonna check the DC voltage across my filter capacitor. About 390 volts because this is one of those, like I said, one of those boards on Samsung where you can unplug the plug going from the main board, which I think is this one right here. You have the main board to the power supply and the backlights will come on if you wanna uh, eliminate if the problem is being caused by, if no picture problem being caused by the power supply board, or main board. Should be approximately 388 volts, let's see. All right, 390 volts, and it is steady, okay? So now, I'm gonna check my standby voltage, so on 13 volts. So actually, the TV is unplugged, from the TV, from the, I'm sorry, the board is unplugged from the main board. So I should actually have 13 volts on one of those jumper wires. Or actually I think it's pointing right here to this diode. So let me just see. I'm gonna ground my meter, I'm on the secondary side and I'm gonna ground my meter to one of these, we're on the cold side of the power supply. So I'm gonna ground my meter right here, one of these tabs, right? These grounding tabs. And I'm gonna go right here to this, making sure I'm very careful the TV is plugged in, and that should have 13 volts. These are the two diodes that are coming off of this transformer and rectifying the voltage or current into the standby voltage, the DC voltage. So let's see what I got. 13 volts. 13 volts, okay? And some more dials, what I got here. Let's see what I have here. 12 volts. It's actually 12 volts, but you know, 12.9 is close enough. 12.9, 12.9, okay, right up in there. So now let's check for voltage at down here, because here is the backlight circuit. Right here. So we have our MOSFETs and our inductors, and it's probably an IC up under there, but I just wanna make sure that we have voltage right here. It looks like, a, is that a duct, was that a diode? I really can't see. Put on my Superman glasses so I can see. Those are MOSFETs. I don't have anything, let's go, I'm sorry, let's go across these dials, I'm sorry. That's what we should have our voltage at, right across the dial. There we go, 302 volts, and that is steady. Okay, so that is working. All right, guys, another TV saved from the alley. Until then, if guys, if you wanna learn how to work on this stuff, uh, make sure you check out the art, my television repair course, and if you wanna ramp up your troubleshooting skills. But until then, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Big dog out.